So my work has always been about reinterpreting textiles and needlework and other home-based traditions in paper to play with geometry and pattern. I used to work with really thick uh, printmaking paper because of the way I treated the surface um, and people often thought it was leather. But in my more recent work, I've been using washi, the Japanese word for paper, and specifically this beautiful kozo, which is made from mulberry bark. It's a nice, warm, natural off-white. So the reason why I've started making pieces that are more flexible and translucent and ephemeral looking is because that's where I am in my life. I'm letting go of my kids, I'm grappling with climate change, and I'm fascinated by how we factor geologic time and our understanding of geologic time into making meaning right now. I've been playing with impermanence, so I've been trying to make things that reference textile and garment fragments, like this piece. This is how I work now because kozo is so strong and bookbinding cloth or mull is impregnated with starch, I don't have to use glue. I can just wet the paper and press it into the bookbinding cloth. And I like to dry it with a hair dryer so I can control how it lays on the mull. Then I sew it on my sewing machine with a zigzag stitch. And from this process, I can explore all kinds of constructions that evoke a more or less difficult history. This is actually my most recent piece. It's, uh, <laughs> it's my commentary on, um, I've been working with a lot of spreadsheets and a lot of data over the summer. And so it's my commentary on the rigidity of the spreadsheet format and my desire to just scream sometimes and break out and do something more interesting and more visually um, entertaining. Thomas Campbell's work opened my mind to sewing paper. Lisa Koken's work showed me that thread is a line and the sewing machine is a drawing tool and that tedium and patience can result in stunning works. This is a piece from her Lucre series made of tiny shreds of money. Nancy Mintz's work is a recent discovery for me. I love the way her work makes use of the translucency of washi paper without anything adorning it. It is the beautiful thing. Kiki Smith's works on paper, I feel like I've been chasing the look of her line on this paper off and on throughout my whole career. Louise Bourgeois's fabric works were a revelation to me. They bridge the territory between art and craft in such an exciting way. And Agnes Martin, her ability to communicate such depth with such limitation. So thank you for coming to my studio and seeing where I work and what I do. And I really appreciate the San Jose Museum of Quilts and Textiles for giving me this opportunity to talk to you. And um, I look forward to presenting other things through the next three months. Thank you, bye.